uh, given matrix A and matrix B, we need to find matrices A, B, and B, A if possible. So first of all, let's look at the order of our matrices. So the order of matrix A is 3 by 1, and the order of matrix B, wait, let me write it down here. So matrix A is 3 by 1 matrix, and matrix B is 1 by 3 matrix. So that means that both AB and BA are possible. So let's start by finding AB. AB equals matrix A times matrix B. So we need to find dot product of the rows of matrix A and columns of matrix B. So the first row of matrix A is negative 1, the first column of matrix B is 1, so the first entry is just negative 1 times 1, next entry is negative 1 times 2, then negative 1 times 3, negative 2 times 1, negative 2 times 2, negative 2 times 3, negative 3 times 1, negative 3 times 2, and negative 3 times 3. Okay, let's... Uh, Let's do the calculations and we will get that this equals negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 3, negative 6, and negative 9. So this is matrix AB. Now let's find matrix BA. Uh, so matrix BA equals matrix B times matrix A. Again, we need to find the dot product of the first row of matrix B and the first column of matrix A. Since there is only one row in matrix B and one column in matrix A, then our product matrix will consist only of one entry. So. Here, we can, basically we can find only one dot product and this one dot product will be one single entry. So we get 1 times negative 1 plus 2 times negative 2 plus 3 times negative 3. And this equals negative 1 minus 4 minus 9. And this equals negative 14. So yes, this is matrix BA. It has it is one by one matrix.